Hello, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So, last time we found out where the troll lair was. It is all the way over here. It's very, very far away. Um, to get there, we would need to do a lot of stuff. So, I think we're going to head up to this bandit camp. We did go to the ruined watchtower. Actually, how do we get to the bandit camp? Because there was no turn in here. Oh, no, you get it to it from the ruined watchtower. Interesting. Yeah, so we might, we might go there this time. Then we're going to go back, touch in, so we see whether we get any events. Then we're going to head back over here, go to the Cobalt Trail, which apparently leads all the way down here. And we'll see where things go from there. Obviously, anything else might jump in the way. So let's have a uh, trip along here. We're probably going to have to rest very soon, but we'll see. Where's fatigue coming in now? Now. Now? Now? No fatigue? All right. There we go. Need to catch my breath. I'm going to cancel moving in there, but we actually got fair, very, very far. That Ralt to uh, Ragu is very fantastic. Uh, yes, I'm going to change this around. So I'm actually going to switch uh, deal back onto that. So we actually just get rations because I think we're more likely to get more... He saves us two rations, but I think he's going to give us more than two rations, basically. Uh, so that's fine. Blend into the wilderness. Um, due to the party's chance of attracting monsters and enemies. The chance of attack decreases for each guard shift that begins during the night. Okay. Um, How much do we have there? We don't have enough foul, actually, to make another route. Ragu. Um, we have enough to make haggis, so we'll probably make haggis this time. Just trying to think, do we could have Valerie on here and she could maintain armor, but she doesn't really need any more AC. I think 37 is pretty okay for just now. We'll just go for that. That's okay. Right. Rest. And three rations. So, objectively better. We are going to have to go back to uh, camp though, because now we only have um, we only have five rations. So we probably have one more rest in us. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go back here and at least stock up. So bandit camp, let's go in. See what's going on. All we know is that there are bandits here. But hopefully they can give us some clues about what's going on in the Null Marches. Anything, you know. Could be new companions here. Who knows? See, these guys aren't hostile. These these are definitely not hostile. Which is interesting. Hey, y'all leaving f so, some for me, right? Just stand look out like you were told. The man's voice carries the weight of command. He seems to be the leader of the bandits. His bushy beard is matted, and remnants of the last day's meals are still evident in it. Quit your whining. We always take care of our own, don't we? Says a disheveled, rotund woman with a round face. Ah, right you are. Ah, when have we ever mistreated you, shorty? Hehe. <laughs> the short, ratty man whose filthy strands of hair do little to obscure his prominent bald spot, doesn't even try to watch the road. His eyes are locked on the sight of his companions rummaging through their most recent haul of obviously stolen loot. Akudin raises his bow and silently knocks an arrow. No your attention, he nods towards the bandits. Worse than trolls. Bred human. Chose to be monsters. The bandit leader looks up and jumps with a start when he sees you, his sole eye wide in disbelief. Shorty, you ass! You were supposed to watch the road! Shorty spins to face you, finally noticing your presence. Hey, uh, something's coming! Grab your blades! He yells belatedly. Hey, hey, hold on, everyone! The bandit leader says as he sheaves his sword he just drawn a moment ago. And Shorty, stop your foaming. Look here, this is our glorious Baroness herself. Come now, bow down, everyone, bow down! The bandit leader bows low, a smirk showing through his bushy beard. The rest of the bandits clumsily repeat the gesture, all except Shorty, who can only glance back and forth, unable to comprehend the situation. Who are you? What's going on here? Oh, why were your loyal subjects? Honest bandits, a lot of us. The bandit leader's broad smile reveals a mouth full of, rot a mouth full rotted of rotted teeth. We'd been associating with the Stag Lord's band, but since you went and beat the stag out of him, we're left on our own. Now you ought to take us in, your grace. Oh, we'd be even better with a strong leader. You want to enter my service? 
I, your grace, were ready and willing to serve. We'll take a pledge right now if you want. We'll kiss your boots, your ass, whatever you need. We're sick to death of hiding in the woods and sleeping in the dirt. Why? Be bandits when we could take from traders legal like. Uh, collect taxes, he means, your grace, the rotund woman clarifies. All for the glory of your grace, of course, the bandit leader says with a grin. Hey, oh, uh, what are you saying? Shorty shakes his head in confusion. If that's the Baroness, the only job she'll have for us is the noose tighteners. I say we cut her down and call it a day. Shut your trap, Shorty. I beg your pardon, your grace. Some as a doornail he is. Just joined our company, but recently. The very sight of these low-life scoundrels offends me. The bandit leader glances at Valerie. Hey, Berta, look at the girl in the Baroness's service. Clean and slick and well-groomed she is. You could take a lesson or three from her, I'd say. Oh, she's not all bad, all right. But would you even know what to do with her? It's all you can do to lay with me once a week, and I barely get a yawn in before you finish. Doubt you could sit in the saddle to ride her kind. Lower than vermin, Valerie says with a grimace. With your permission, I would happily cleanse the world of this trash. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Um... I, I don't know. I think I'm tempted on the lawful good one here. I don't think we're friends with bandits. The stag lord made a fairly large enemy, and they have made a mistake in associating with them. I don't make deals with scoundrels. Valerie draws her weapon. Scoundrels like these are why the Stone Lands gained the reputation they have. I'm glad you tolerate them no more than I do. These barons always think so highly of themselves. Shorty spits on the ground. She robs folks worse than us and has the nerve to spew all this righteous crap at us. I say we get them. Yeah! Right, Let go for it. Uh, we'll do a little song. Arim, go Three, hit it. Uh, dog, want you to run... Probably at Berta. It looks like she's going to be a ranged user. So we'll get her out of here. Uh, Octavia. Um, I don't know. Might probably that bandit. Uh, Kundio, probably that I'm bandit as well. I can't did. imagine Shorty's going to take that much to kill. Uh, and we'll attack Solid him until man. we have better information. Alright, dog attack over there. That's fine. Um, We could probably fireball like here. I don't really care if we hit the dog, so that's fine. Yeah, I'll do it. That'll definitely do it. And the dog reflex saved? That is fantastic. Yes. Absolutely what we're looking for. Okay. Um, Let's get some more fire over here. I see we should hit Hendrik with our main one. Okay. Uh, Octavia, you're currently hitting this Hendrik. That's you. fine. Ikundio is hitting Shorty. That seems okay for just now. We may switch him. Uh, Lindsay should be hitting Serves you Hendrik. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. Uh, Lindsay could use magic as well. That's fine. Yeah. Go for it. Nice. Okay, Hendrik has a lot of health because we did 22 to him and he barely looks hurt. Yeah. Although, the acid splash did quite a lot there. That's fine. Getting ice on. Actually, Octavia should attack this one so she gets quick attack. Not quick attack, uh, sneak attack. Never mind. We can attack Hendrik. Dog's down at exactly the same time. That's okay. Acid was reduced damage. Interesting. I wonder why. Oh, oh no. That, that's seven. So that's probably an, uh, a basic um, weapon style attack was reduced. Okay. Um, we got anything else? Uh, we could try hideous laughter on like Berta. See if we can just knock her out. That seems okay. That worked. Forward. Perfect. So she's just down now. Yeah. Let's go for it. Nice. And then, yeah, she's dead. It's fine. Hideous laughter worked very well. Nice. Alright, well, we'll take their loot. And then somebody will come along and say, Hey, what are you doing? Did you just kill those people? And then we'll have to explain it. We'll get in a fight with them. They'll kill us. And then we can, you know, the, the cycle continues. 
What's that? A light shield. Hmm. Armor check penalty is nothing. Hmm. Could be interesting, actually, to have a light shield. I'll have one of those. That's okay. All right. Uh, oh, it's light shield plus two, apparently. That's not bad. See, what is a light shield plus two? Plus two. Oh, that's just three armor class. Okay, that's fine. What's what's his uh, what's her rim shield currently? Oh, it's a uh, all right. It's a pretty good shield, I'd say. Yeah, I was thinking like a um, that could be a good Lindsay one, like because she doesn't really get it's push her up to medium class, but she doesn't really get a lot of benefit from just having the short sword. Um, bow is so much worse than the savage bow. Is it better than the long bow? No, because she has longbow proficiency, so that's fine. Uh, we also got another short sword plus one, which I guess would be a Kundios right now. We got a bastard sword, which I think is a plus one. All right, we already have one. That's okay. Um, the rest we just keep. That seems okay. Yeah, I went pretty well. We didn't really use very much in that fight either. We used one fireball and one snowball. And those were only um, short ones. Ooh, a heavy mace. Nice. What is this? Heavy mace plus one. Uh, is that better? Yes. He currently only has a heavy mace on. So a heavy mace plus one is objectively better. That's fine. Uh, we got some scrolls of haste and things there as well. And then we'll grab all the food. Yeah. Very, very good. I like it. What's... Uh, oh, we don't even have the haggis buff because it was ruined. I forgot. Ooh, wand of pure light wounds is quite nice. Yeah. Uh, is this the whole area? It does appear to be the whole area, and we just moved through it. That's fine. Right, that was a good one. Yeah, that, that was positive. Uh, I want to head back to base now. Ooh, that scale mail is upgraded. A scale mail plus two. Okay. Uh, what is scale mail plus two? That's, that's medium armor plus two. Uh, light armor, I think, yeah, we could give it here. But this also has a uh, lower arcane spell. Yeah, I think that's a Miri's item. I could be wrong though. But yeah, that's a lot of uh, magic items we got out of that. I'll take it. That was very positive. Right. Um, we want to head back to base to buy more rations. Probably want to go out with 20 rations next time. Uh, yeah, head back here. Take a day and five hours. So one more rest, essentially. That's fine. Probably have to rest somewhere in this route. Okay. Uh, fatigue tier. Nope, some quite worked it out. Ah, oh, there we go. I need to catch my breath. As we continue, we can just make it back. Yeah, I knew we were gonna have kingdom events, More strength. so it Thanks. makes it worth uh, coming back here. Well, let's head to the throne room on the assumption that it's gonna need us to be there. Probably it might not, but we'll head back there anyway. And um, we can also hand out stuff and put stuff in our box in the throne room. So it all works out. Okay. So. Who do we think is coming to see us this time? Ooh, it is someone coming to see us. It's a whole group. Hello. A problem demands your attention, your grace. Your acquaintance, Oleg, has been refusing to pay his taxes for months now. Even though his trading post is located in your lands. Oh, why would Oleg be doing this? The fool doesn't realize he should have come to you immediately, but even so, please lend him your ear. Um, what's the matter, Oleg? Oleg grimaces, making a clear effort not to spit on the floor. Well, since the moment you founded this barony, your grace, I became your subject. He grits his teeth. But I'm also a subject of the Aldorian Restoff. When you brought down the Stag Lord, I thought my troubles were over. But no! Oleg shakes his head. My whole life I paid taxes to rest off. Now, on top of that, your tax collectors darkened my door. Hmm. Interesting. Well, obviously you should swear fealty to us. But, um... Oleg, which would you rather swear allegiance to, rest off or myself? Oleg looks like he's surprised to be asked. He thinks for a moment, and you realize he's making an extraordinary effort to be polite. Uh, forgive me, Your Grace, but regardless of what banner they fly, all tax collectors are little more than bandits to me. Oh, alright. Well, screw you then. Advisors, any thoughts? Oleg's trading post is within our borders. 
we have the right to collect taxes from him. As for the Sword Lords, to hell with them. They won't start a full-scale conflict over some backwater trading post. Oleg is more important than a few months' worth of taxes. Collecting now would ruin a kind and honest, if somewhat clueless man. Please keep this in mind, your grace. Hmm. Uh, interesting. We can say I'll discuss the matter of the sword. In I can discuss it with uh, the sword lords. Interesting. We can allow them to take the the taxes from Oleg or summon the guards. No, I think we choose the top one. We won't collect any taxes from them this month. We'll let them go and discuss the matter of Oleg's fealty with the sword lords and rest of, so we can determine whether he should be bound to them or to me. It also gives us an opportunity to speak to the sword lords of rest of. Oleg smiles faintly. Well, I, I, I thank you, Your Grace. He bow bows awkwardly, then rises embarrassed. That's uh, most just of you. We could have just given Jamandi a rap across the knuckles. Oh, well, diplomacy it is. I'm certain we can reach an agreement with Jamandi and acquire the training post in short order, without any direct conflict with the Sword Lords. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to send Lander to do that. That's okay. We can do that. Uh, was that the event? Yeah. That was very reasonable, actually. Uh, yeah. I don't know what date is, but we'll get there soon enough. Date is the 6th. So, uh, that means that we are three days forward. I could just check these, but that means that we should be at uh, 19 days, nothing, nothing, uh, 9 days. Yes, that should be what we're at in terms of things to do. We got plus one economy. Nice. Okay, next event we got trade agreement with Mivon. Mivon will dispatch troops to watch the trade routes that connect to our capital one BP were per week. But we don't have any advisors or BP. That's fine. The Howling Wolves. Wolves are breeding at a surprising rate. The local forests are full of the ravenous beast and there is not enough quarry to feed them all. The starving wolves howl at night to gather into packs and attack the villagers. We can send Lander to do that. Lander does not have anything else to do, uh, if I understand it correctly. Yeah, he has nothing else to do, so he definitely seems like the best person to deal with this. Yeah, and it only requires 10 days to solve, so it's not going to take him very long. Yeah, it seems fine. Uh, start event. Okay, troll sightings is 19, and the project will finish in 10. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, we can back out here. That's okay. I get the feeling we need a treasurer to be able to do a lot of these things. Like, a treasurer, I feel, is gonna, gonna open up so many extra things for us. Yeah, we're kind It almost feels like we're still in the tutorial for the kingdom tired. building. If you know what I mean. Like, we're still... It's still telling us how to do it. It's still basically being like, here's a simple, um, you know, problem. Deal with it. And I imagine it's going to get much more difficult later. Like, I imagine that the throne room things are going to turn in less into, like, ask three questions, make a decision. And they're going to turn more into ask, like, 20 questions, then make a kind of decision at some point. So she currently has Troll Reaper, and we can replace that with the Crusher. Troll Reaper seems better. Yeah. At least for just now. Um, We have a bow. Well, we have many bows for Tristian. Ah, yeah. He's going to have to use a crossbow. That's alright. Including his... He also has some armor on. I forgot that. Okay, so she's currently using a plus two breastplate. Uh, so the scale mail is not too useful. Uh, He does not yet... Reg doesn't have access to medium wet armor yet, but he will soon. Jethal? Hide armor plus two. Yeah, skill meal is better. That's fine. Um, anything else? The bastard sword we can sell, probably. Um, price in descending order. We'll put them up here. That is that sells for a lot, which makes me feel we should keep it. Um, yeah, we can sell the plus one swords. That's all right. Uh, I actually do want to go back. Wait, wait, can I? Because we have stuff there, can I just transfer it in here? It seems like a great thing if I can just go bloop. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we will put these back. And oh, no, no. We want to keep these because we want to sell those. 
Okay, hopefully this works in the way that I hope it works and that this will go into our chest. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we will now leave and sell those two. Is there anything else that we have? We have some random armor we need to sell. Yeah, okay. There's a lot to sell. That's fine. Right. I feel we're still doing all right. We're not dead at all. We seem to be winning combats fairly reasonably. But I have also been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon and there's a saying that comes up quite a lot in there. Which is that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So I'm feeling that actually... I tired. We, well, I don't feel tired. So please don't speak for me, Sora. But I'm feeling that we might... Um, we might run into a little bit of trouble if we uh, become too confident. Too lax. Anyway, hey, Hasuf. Uh, yeah, let's see what you have. So, Hasuf, I would like to want, like, offer to sell you all of that. Also, th these two things here. And if I sort by weight, we should be able to find the other one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and that as well. Perfect. So that's a whole bunch of stuff for selling him. And for that, I would like, not notable, usable, not usable, other. I think it's other. There we go. That's a much better way. He is running out of camping supplies, I've just noticed. Um, That's worrying. Can he actually run out? Maybe it just refreshes it if he does run out. Um, Could also buy BP from him if we want to, but I don't think that we need to. Um... We don't appear to be that over... I mean, we have 9,000, but we're still not that overloaded with money. Yeah. I think I bought 20 on top of what we have. So we actually, oh, no, I bought 18, didn't I? Yeah, so that's fun. Time to leave, rest, and then head out. Okay. Um, I was wondering whether we want to take Jathal with us, because she has Troll Reaper that we haven't had a chance to try out yet. That could be cool. Who are we ditching for Jathal if we take it out? I mean, we, I really like the sneak attack. Ekundio has to come with us for just now. Um, Lindsay generally has to come with us. Means to ditch someone for just Thal, I have to ditch Octavia. Because it's my only slot. Because Harim also needs to come with us to see the Dwarven Ruins. Yeah, okay. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. Just mix up the party ever so slightly. But... Yeah, it could be interesting. She also doesn't die, which is a great thing for a frontliner. Um, let me just think about the formation in my head. Uh, it goes something like this. I think is our formation. I could be wrong. Anyway, rest. Uh, manage or camp camouflage now gets done by us. I think. Yeah, and Jathal can use her seventeen perception. Uh, wait, what's Jathal's one here? Undead Guardians. Ah, oh, we don't need that. That's fine. Uh, our stealth is only a plus two, actually, isn't it? We got anyone better? Minus one. Minus eight. Plus eight? Ah, uh, but then we have... We, wait, we have a plus ten cooking. That seems like a much better layer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll cook. Some Ralt... Ra some Galt Ragu. It is a DC 18 cooking. That's the problem. I see all of these are DC 18 cooking. That's fine then. We'll just cook it. What's the big deal? Uh, yeah, we're good. Let's go. I guess if we run out of rations, what we need to do is we just need to put two people on hunting. And then really beat the DC. Yeah, okay. So everyone should heal up as well. We got one ration. Okay. That means we're down to 18. We spoiled the meal. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not very good. Maybe Lindsay should cook. Um, So I want to head along there. So I think I want to head down this route and then along the river. Yeah, unless the... No, it looks like there's a shorter route here. Let's go to the Lone House and take the shorter route if we can. We are going to need to rest, like, really soon. But that's okay. Ooh, Banded Laboratory, which we cannot claim because it's not in our area. But that's okay. Also contains arcane research material. There is someone on the road. It doesn't tell us who, which means it's a scripted encounter. Okay, let's see who we got. Let's see who we've got. And... Oh, it's one of these. We saw something that probably no one else had ever seen before. 
Besides the blazing camp, beside the blazing campfire stood a cobalt, who had wrapped himself in a worn-out elven robe. On the far side of the clearing, three enormous trolls shuffled their feet, hesitating. The cobalt stretched out his calloused paws, with immense gravity hissed and mumbled incomprehensibly. We could barely even guess at what this at what this meant. Ooh, do we think that this is Tartusio? Or do we think this is just a random cobalt? Okay, which one do we have the higher on, stealth or nature? Stealth, we have a plus 16 for a DC 16. So that's a guaranteed uh, success, and this one isn't. So yeah, will it sneak closer? Hiding behind the elm trees, we crept close enough to hear the mysterious cobalt's mumblings. Okay. Uh, well, intelligence 11, we have a plus 2. Perception, we have a 17. Or, yeah, I think we'll take the 17, thank you. We tried to make sense of what was happening by interpreting the gestures and body language. Yeah, a 17 seems pretty good for a uh, plus 17 on that roll. Yeah, we'll just try and make sense of what was happening by interpreting the gestures and body language. Oh, look at that, we succeeded. Shock. It seems like the kobold was uh, shaming the trolls for cowardice. Hissing and grunting, he repeated, Hargulka, several times, causing the trolls to tuck their heads and slouch it a little deeper each time. It must have been the name of a very important troll, a chieftain, a pack leader, someone they regarded as an authority. Whatever the case, the kobold's words hit their target. One of the trolls, the tallest and mightiest one, stood straight and stepped forward. His enormous claw involuntarily scratched uh, at his bloodied shoulder, which held in a burned-in pattern. The other troll's shoulders looked like they had the same pattern, as though they'd all been branded. The kobold stretched his arms towards the troll, his sleeve still on fire. Flames, 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 the kobold hissed menacingly in common. Flames, 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 the trolls repeated in their own tongue. The brave troll stepped closer to the campfire. <laughs> we can move closer and just go, push him into the fire, or we can throw a stone at the kobold. Well, let's try it. That's an, we have to roll an eight, or we have to roll a nine. So we'll try throwing a stone at the kobold. Oh, especially as knocking the troll into the fire would have done nothing because he has a brand. The rock struck the kobold right in the forehead. Bam! The spellweaver went down like a tree. It was clear he'd be out for quite some time, but the trolls, the trolls were ready for battle, and they were very, very angry. I need inspiration. Okay, so we knock that shaman right down. How did I do with the formation? Almost there, although it should be like that. Okay, Lindsay, get a buff. Jathal, get it. Valerie, get it. Dog, get it. Uh, Ikundio, actually shoot the cobalt. Uh, and we'll chuck the acid at it. In there. Nice, just a nice 28. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm start. I think I really quite like him, Jathal, along here. Okay. Some acid just hitting them. Uh, we should pro. Okay, yeah, that one's dead. So we should probably all Seriously, focus on the wait. same one. The dog can hit. Dog can hit. Valerie can hit. Harim. Yeah, probably just hit. That's fine. Attacks of opportunity are being taken against two. Or is that Valerie taking an attack of opportunity? Does it say when we get... Valerie makes an attack of opportunity, but why? What did it do? Maybe it's healing counts as something? I don't know. Uh, Jathal, I should also use... Uh, she can use multiple judgments, right? Or maybe that's per day she can only have those... Anyway, that's, oh, I just remembered. She needs to have that one. Uh, I think the judgments are like a per day thing, aren't they? Yeah. So we don't need to work. Oh, although we do have five Bane weapons. Bane weapon excels against certain foes. Against designated foe, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. Bane weapon? Doesn't say what the foe is. Oh, it's number of rounds per day. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave that for just now. That's okay. I think we're okay just attacking right now. <laughs> Nice. Keep going. That one's down. Branded troll. About to go down. Uh, we should use our acid on that one. A solid plan. 
Because just all didn't get to hit it. So we didn't get the acid on it. That's okay. Right. This troll is dead. Nice. I went okay, apart from Jathal getting a little bit hit. Uh, ooh, what's that? A cloak. Plus two resistance. And a Wanda Bless. We'll have that. Although the Wanda Bless might be the most useless thing we could possibly have. That's okay. We have a rock. Someone struck this rock hard enough to leave claw marks across the surface. And... The bloody leftovers of the troll's dinners are scattered uh, beside the rock. Okay. I'll go ahead. And over here we have ah some more food. Lovely. Now we do have that new cloak. So uh, who gets it? Well, Ithal already has a cloak of resistance one, so we'll replace it with a cloak of resistance two. Oh no, Lindsay can have it. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. Right. Uh, just all, uh, hurt yourself. Just a little bit. One more. Nice. A little quick save, and time to leave. Ooh, the herbs. Clear. Can't forget the herbs. Yeah, we'll collect those. Fine. Might need them for, um, cooking. Never know. Alright, head out here. That was a cool little encounter. Don't know what I meant to take from it, but it was a cool encounter. We know that the kobolds are basically branding the marks into the trolls, which we kind of already had, but maybe you're, you get that encounter if you just ignore, like, going to the wizard's house or something. Okay. Um, yeah, go. So no crossing on this river? Not going to make me very happy if there's not a crossing. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Oh, there is a crossing. Nice. Uh, we'll go one more. Try to avoid. Failed to sneak past the enemies. Oh dear. Well, we have we only have a little fatigue. I think two people are fatigued. One person isn't. I imagine we're fighting trolls. To victory, don't you think? Oh, we're fighting skeletons. Well, this is fine because we actually have um, magical Onward. weapons now. So, unlike when we first fought skeletons, this is the easiest thing we could ever hope for. Uh, maybe. You know. Uh, get that one on. Yeah, let's get some fire going. That seems good. Uh, Harim? Uh, if we're gonna rest... Actually, maybe just cast Searing Light on the first one. That's fine. We may have overkilled, but we're gonna rest afterwards anyway. Yeah, that'll do it. Two more coming in. It's okay. Um, we can Shocking Grasp instead. Karim, let's just do that one. Well, one down, two down. Time to search for the spot to rest. Well, that seems like a good idea, I'd say. Probably. Although we can probably go to our location because we're not going to be attacked. I'll go ahead. I thought that was a bag that was hanging on there, but it was just the tree trunk. Anyway. That was very, very easy. I think that's that was actually the same skeleton encounter we originally had. I actually don't know if encounters scale up in difficulty. Hmm. I don't know. Although this this area is still close enough to the starting area that, yeah, maybe they were just generous. And head down here. Stop. Okay. Kind of want to go there. But that's fine. Uh. Okay. Let's uh, rest. Okay. Everyone's resting. Begin resting. It's fine. Okay, I just noticed we have this at the top. Is this a calendar? I think it's worn off. Can I go multiple days? Wait a second. Does this keep track of all of my events anyway? No. Wait, what does this do? Takes time to restore companions to full health while resting. Resting will take nine hours. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? No, no, we're good. We're, we're good. We'll just go back to the normal resting. Fine. Okay, so you can say it's rest longer. There isn't actually a calendar in game. That's all I was checking there. Right, so, um, it is now the 8th of the 8th. Which means that we have 17 days left on Amiri. 
Uh, I didn't actually take a note of Lander's one, but I should have. And we have seven days left. Let's help. Oh, I can't have a look at Lander's one. Well, we know that we left on the 6th of the 8th and it took 10 days. So I assume that Lander is at eight days left, but I could be wrong. So we definitely want to do like two more things and then head back, which would also make sense for rations. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.